echoes of life. Hi, I'm Paul. Organ transplantation can be an effective medical method for end-stage organ failure and can give patients a new lease on life. But without organ donation, there cannot be organ transplantation. June 11th is Chinese Organ Donation Day. Since Zhongshan, the city where I live, became one of the first pilot cities for organ donation in China, they have witnessed about 354 cases of organ donation and 1,587 patients have been treated. But what are the stories behind each of these? I'm sure you're as interested as I am to find out, so let's discover it together. Uh, hello, hi, hi, how are you doing? So this is the Office of the Organ Procurement Organization, or OPO, here in Zhongshan. Their main responsibilities are for organ donation for the entire city. When potential donors or relatives are willing to donate their organs, they can contact the OPO staff. The staff will conduct assessment, maintenance, procurement, and communicate with the potential organ donors and also comfort them. They also check the legal documents, coordinate with witnesses, etc. For more than a decade, the coordinators of the OPO office of Zhongshan's People's Hospital have been threading in the intensive care unit, accompanying the donor's family members to bid farewell to their loved ones. Meanwhile, they maintain a long-term relationship with the donor's family members and do everything in their power to help them. So all of these are name tags of all the donations that they've gotten over the years and also the dates of the donations. Each one of these tags not only represents death, but more importantly, life. And some of the names I can see here are like, uh, you know, Mr. Wong, uh, Mr. Liu, Mr. Shi. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating. This is the central operating room here at the hospital. In late May of 2022, a very tragic and touching story happened. Miss Jung, age 46, suddenly passed away of a cerebral hemorrhage. According to the wishes of her family, she donated her heart, her kidney, and her liver and helped save the lives of four critically ill patients. So I have here a letter from Xiao Li, who is a college student and uh, the son of Miss Jung. And uh, it's to the recipient of the donation. And it translates to, my mother's life is passed on and continued in another way. And I am happy with that. So he's saying that even though his mother has passed, uh, he can feel happy from the donation. It's like one torch went out and four more torches were ignited. Her heart continues to beat in this world and she continues to live in another way. This is the organ transplant ward here at the hospital. After receiving a transplant, patients will come here for observation and rehabilitation. Among all the organ transplantation operations, heart transplantation is the most critical. Over the past decade, Zhongshan People's Hospital has carried out more than 120 heart transplantation operations. Liang Yi is a surgeon in charge of heart transplantation. The oldest of his patients is 75, and the youngest is only eight years old. So I'm very lucky to have Dr. Liang, who has taken time out of his busy day to answer some questions for me. This is Dr. Liang from the Zhongshan People's Hospital. Oh. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, thank you very much Hello. for meeting with me. Um, so, Dr. Liang, how many patients are currently waiting for a heart transplant? Uh, five patients. We have five patients yeah. currently right now. Yeah. And how long do they have to wait to receive the, the transplant? Uh, one week to five months. So it can be anywhere from one week to five months. Long, okay, yeah. so it can be very quick or very long, long week. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. I do appreciate it. Okay. okay. Without donation, there is no transplantation. And with donations, we can save people's lives. Right now, there are 13,922 volunteers registered in the organ donation program here in Zhongshan and we can light up other people's lives with our lives.